What do you think you're doing there, Jesse? Just laying there stuff in your face, eh? Just laying there stuff in your face, eh? Just laying there stuff in your face, lounging in the sun on the trailer, in the hay. Yeah. Today is uh, Wednesday, April the 10th, 2019. These are the two uh, young heifer calves. I just cut them back to five liters of milk once a day now because they're packing away the calf starter and the hay like crazy. So I cut them back to one, just the one five liters each a day on milk. We had a bit of an accident here um, day, night before last at 2 o'clock or 12, 12.30 in the no, it was 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, cause 12, 12.30 I came out here and checked on them. And there was a bit of an accident. It was snowing like crazy out here and the ground was covered in ice. And I came out here and all the animals were doing good and uh, I went back in the house and I was watching some YouTube videos and all of a sudden I heard Gary the Goose squawking like crazy. And I, then I heard this bawling noise and it didn't sound right. So I came outside and uh, there was a, one of my younger uh, seven month old steers was laying on the ground by my trailer uh, right over on its side. And I tried to lift him, try to help him up on his own and he just do a nose dive and uh, uh, I checked all his legs and everything and they were all good. And I got my stethoscope out and listened to his chest and I could hear it gurgling. So I knew right away that he had a broken rib and punctured lung. And uh, I debated, debated whether to cut him open and uh, try and patch him up. But he started going downhill really fast. So what I'm about to show you is uh, a little bit sensitive. Uh, so uh, just fair warning. I ended up having to slaughter him at 2.30 at in the morning. Well, closer to 3 o'clock. Right where he laid. And uh, hang him up and gut him. And he's seven months old. I don't normally do it, but it was an emergency. wasn't going to lose wasn't going to lose the meat. And uh, problem is, I can't give it away even because it's not government inspected. So I guess it'll have to go in my own freezer. But that's the kind of stuff that happens. Uh, he must have went down awfully hard. Um, there was a ledge of ice <clears throat> uh, that was very slippery. And I was putting salt on it and everything, but we got that heavy snowfall. It didn't, the snow didn't last. By the next morning, it was already melting. We got about six inches of it in a matter of two hours. And I guess he had come in here on the other side of the wire because he was in here when I checked on them. And then a couple hours later, I guess he went outside and he maybe he got a little bit uh, uh, spunky and started jumping around and wiped out on the ice and went down hard. He weighs live weight hanging there right now. He weighs just about 412 pounds. Um, <clears throat> but that's with the hide and everything on. When they're that young, I like to leave, the, leave them hang for four or five days with the hide on. Uh, same as you do with, if you were doing veal. It makes for much nicer meat, even though he's not veal. He's too old for veal. Um, so I didn't get the sweet bread out of the neck, which I love the sweet bread because by this time the sweet bread is already already turning hard already and disappearing. 
the their body absorbs it eventually but it's like candy that stuff so anyway, I like to leave it on because even when I worked in the abattoir all the veal in the young calves the hide was left on for five days and then skinned off and left to hang for another two to four days it makes for much, much more nicer and tender meat uh, when they're this young and uh, so I'll probably be skinning this out tomorrow because he's been hanging now for three days. So leave the tomorrow or the next day that I'll skin him out and then take him down to the root cellar and hang him down there for another three or four days. Because <clears throat> it is below freezing at here at night. And uh, right now it's only 32 degrees in here now. It was down to nine degrees last night. And... Uh, and that's how that went. Um, it was a sad thing to have to happen. But it happens once in a while. It's been several years since that's happened to me before. Where one is wiped out. I had The last one I had was about three years ago. But he got headbutted by a bigger, bigger steer. And broke, broke a rib in the summertime. Uh, and he was younger than this. And I had the emergency slaughter that one. Um, I'm just rounding up my milk here for these guys. Yeah, so that's how that night, how that night, so it was a sleepless night for me that night. I was up all night soaking wet. Because I couldn't find my orange, uh, what do you call it, rain suit or whatever, but the heavy duty one, construction one. Yeah, it, was, it was him that alerted me to it. And look at old Bessie there. My electric fence wire is not working and she knows it's not. I guess there's a tree down somewhere in the three miles of electric fence I've got because it's not working up here. And there's too much snow to walk the line yet. It just went out about three or four days ago. So she comes out and she helps herself to the young steers here. So now instead of having three young steers, I've only got two. Yeah, the trailer was, this trailer was parked back here, and there's this ledge of ice right here, it's been breaking up because there's salt on it, and he was down on the ground right here, um, thrashing his legs and his head back and forth, and I was trying to lift him with this, this electric hoist. The beam was up higher, and uh, I just couldn't get him up high enough. And to get my forklift out from in the garage, I'd have to take that pen apart from the calves, and it would probably sink in this gravel because the frost is coming out. Yeah, that's where I slaughtered them. Hey. Do you miss your buddy? Hey, hey Bessie. Yeah, we're supposed to get snow again. Is it tomorrow? Yeah, I think it's tomorrow or the next day we're supposed to get another snowstorm. And yesterday it never warmed up all day. It was like 28 degrees all day and windy cold and uh, and these guys here cleaned up everything from inside that calf they got all the insides except for the liver and heart but he was hard to he was hard to gut open because all three stomachs were jammed right packed full so it made it very difficult to split them open. 
uh, without hitting anything. And I didn't hit nothing at all, but it was very difficult as he was so tight. Normally, you don't give them feed for 24 hours. I have to make a hay run today or tomorrow because this is the last of the calf's hay. And uh, the big guy's hay down there is uh, pretty much gone. I have enough for today probably. And uh, I'll probably throw them this hay when I get new hay. Because the calves have been up there laying in and stuff like that. And whatever they don't need out of it. Because some of it's been pooped on. I'll throw to the pigs. Because <clears throat> they love it. And, uh, yeah. So I was supposed to pitchfork a few loads of manure onto that trailer this week and deliver it 100 bucks a load but it's been so cold and wet that it's hard enough trying to pitchfork it on by hand when it's drier but i have three people that want to load so far already for their garden i guess they just want to make sure they get it because I only sell out a few loads. Well, I sell out about 12 loads a year. Because the rest I put on the fields. Which is tough going since I've lost my tractor. Because I have to pitchfork it all onto a trailer. And then pitchfork it out onto the fields. Because the manure spreader don't work without a PTO. And uh, I lost my tractor, so... I probably would have lost the manure spreader too, but at the time it was in my shop that I was that I was renting, and she didn't have a key to it because I was doing some welding to it because it's an older spreader, and I was rebuilding the augers on it or the paddles and augers, building welding on them, building them up, but it works good. But with no tractor now, I was looking at a nice, <clears throat> uh, what was it, uh, H series, it was an H and E series, anywhere from 25 horsepower to, there's three different models, anywhere from 25 horsepower to, and there's 20, 33 horsepower, and I think a 44, 40 horsepower John Deere with a loader on it, which would be about the same size tractor I used to have. But, $60,000 with the loader for the 44 horsepower and I don't have that kind of money and the guy wouldn't come down because he bought it last year and found it wasn't enough horsepower I haven't seen these guys come into heat yet so I don't know, but then again, it's been so blistery cold out here. I haven't really paid much attention to them. See, even like the electric fence is not on, they won't come out of there because they know. They, for somehow they don't sense that it's not on. But it's been off now for three days. And like I say, even when I move them out of here, down there in the bush in the summertime, it's a heck of a job to get them to cross out of this wire. I basically have to put a one wire all the way down like a pathway all the way down there to the bottom and put their feed down there and sooner or later when they get hungry enough they will cross over and go down that alleyway just a temporary alleyway I put up to try and transfer them down there and back up so that's about it ladies and gentlemen once again yeah, and it's like today even it's only like uh, 38 degrees in the house and windy with the wind blowing through here because it's kind of windy today. And the uh, fire's been burning hot like crazy and it's been so damp and my back has just been killing me and that's why you haven't seen any videos because just to stand here my legs are just paining me crazy 
But anyway, if you can help out to try and get me some funds to rebuild a small cabin here before next winter, please use my PayPal or GoFundMe link below. Uh, it's, the, it's the GoFundMe uh, PayPal pool one. And if you'd like to help out to buy livestock and feed these livestock to help feed families in need, please use the other PayPal link or send a uh, money order to the address at the beginning of the videos. Or you can do an email transfer to my email address on my same page here. Okay, thank you very much and have a great day. Looks like it's going to be a sunny day for the first time in five days. Take care, everybody, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon.